guys welcome to my channel and first of all if you hear background noises then please then please please bear with me because it's really 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 hot out here and I cannot do without a fan like I tried to do it but I was all in sweat so please bear with me if you hear any kind of noises and if you're not able to hear me properly get started with today's video which is about sunscreen so, so are you really confused in uh, which one to buy and which one not to buy whether SPF 20 is good or 30 is good or 40 is good and what is that PA++ and all those jazz on those sunscreens so if you want to know about each and everything about sunscreen and how to choose which one will work for you and all those information then please keep on watching this video because this video is going to be very 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 informative and this will really gonna help you like a lot and I would also suggest please share this video with your friends and everybody so that they can also get this information and they can do a better buy when they buy a sunscreen because you know sunscreen is the most important um, part of your uh, skincare regime so you have to take care of that and so yeah let's get started in getting to know your sunscreen a bit more better so I have used a ton of sunscreen like I still have this VLCC sunblock lotion and titan and this Sara herbal Photoderma SP 50 plus and then finally that the one that I use currently is this Neutrogenia Ultra Share Dry Touch Sunblock so um, I first bought this small little bottle and I did a review on this one as well I've done a couple of sunscreen videos uh, but this one is not about a specific sunscreen it's about how to choose a sunscreen and what does all how to read the labels on a sunscreen basically so I bought this sunscreen I'm pretty much happy with the way it works and pretty much happy with um, the the entire thing about it so I'm not suggesting you to buy this buy the sunscreen that suits you suits your skin but I'm gonna read the labels right here and tell you what each and everything uh, in this label means. So first of all uh, what is a sunscreen sunscreen is a sun protection uh, that protects you from UVA and UVB rays because they causes damage so UVA and UVB there are two types of sun uh, uh, sun rays that damages your skin uh, UVA causes permanent damage permanent skin aging instant skin aging and also can lead to skin cancer uvb on the other hand do sun burns and also leads into oh, can lead to sun can uh, sun cancer can uh, and also can lead to skin cancer so both of them are really dangerous for our skin so whenever whenever you are trying to buy a sun block or a sunscreen they both mean the same thing sun block or sunscreen they are same thing uh, doesn't matter whether you call it a sun sun block or you call it a sunscreen first of all look for the spf like just look for the spf the spf what does SPF mean? Like we were always told by something which is which has higher SPF, higher SPF, higher SPF. But do you even know what SPF means? SPF stand for sun protection factor. So the higher SPF, the higher level of protection it will give. And it is not in terms of the grade. It is in terms of, of the minute. So whatever, like suppose if you have a sunblock which is of SPF 25, then the sun protection factor is actually 250 minutes. So it will protect you from sun for theoretically for 250 minutes, which is not necessary that it will always protect you for two for 250 minutes from the sun so uh, whether the sun protection uh, the sunblock that you are using is sp50 or 100 or whatever it is advised always to reapply your sunblock at least after every two hours no matter what because we are not yet like the technology is not yet 100% claim that whatever the SPF mat, uh, mentioned right here will actually pre uh, prevent the sunblock for that um, that much longer amount of time so I hope that makes sense I'm not babbling I hope I'm making sense so that was the first thing that you have to look for the SPF and I think for summers uh, SPF 40 or SPF 50 is good enough um, for your face and for your like for your body you can use an SPF of 24 and reapply every two hours because 240 minutes is also not bad but you if you are actually going out into the sun for a really long uh, duration of time I would suggest use your face sunscreen on your body as well because it will protect you much better than your uh, actual body lotion so yeah that was another thing I would suggest you to buy um, 
sunblock which has helioplex in it or which has stabilized evobenzin in it evobenzin actually breaks down in the sun and it is a good ingredient for as a sunblock so it breaks down uh, in the sun it's better to buy a stabilized evobenzin or a, a sunblock which has helioplex in it then the next thing that you look on your sunscreen bottle is this pa sign it's it's sometimes it's pa plus pa plus plus or pa plus 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 it's nothing but it's a japanese gradation system for sunblock so it defines a protection guard that a sunblock will give you uh, from the uv areas specifically from the uv areas whether or not the bottle specifies it's a broad spectrum sunblock you always have to look whether the pa is defined properly or not so if it is pa plus it will give you medium coverage like medium protection if it be it's if it's pa plus plus it will give you a better protection and if it is pa plus 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 it will give you like the best protection from the uv areas so look for the UPA++ sign on your sunblock as well then your sunblock should be water resistant or sweat resistant it will last a bit longer than your normal sunblock that's another thing that you must look for in your sunblock okay so that was all the labels that you have on your uh, sunblock that you must identify and then buy a sunblock now let's move on to how to apply and uh, some like tips on applying your sunblock yeah if that makes sense okay so uh, whenever you're applying your sunblock make sure you're applying it at least 10 to 15 minutes when you're walking out of your house or when you're exposed to sun so that it takes time like it takes time to seep into your skin and actually be active so at least 10 to 15 minutes before you are exposed to sun you should be applying your sunblock that's the first point that you should take care of take care of number two is always reapply your sunscreen no matter what the SPF is at least every two hours because we are still not uh, we are still not confirmed on the on the duration the sunblock will give you protection so it's better to reapply your sunblock every two hours number three if it is SPF 50 it will give you protection for 500 minutes only so it doesn't uh, you don't have to layer yourself like if it is a spray 50 you layer it twice so it will give you protection for 1000 minutes no that doesn't make sense at all if it is 50 it will give you protection just 500 minutes many, no matter how many layers you put on so yeah that's one more thing and always apply your sunblock even if it is cloudy or if it is winters because um, the uva and uvb rays even penetrate through the clouds so even if you can't see them even if there is no sunlight there there the uv rays are still around you damaging your skin so just wear your sunblock no matter what all 365 days it is really 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 important so that was all about the sunblock hope you guys enjoyed this video and loved all my tips and the information about sunblock if you did so do not forget to share this video and let others know about it and also follow me on all my social medias facebook twitter and instagram hope this video was helpful to you if it was do not forget to give this video a thumbs up please 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 share this video with your friends and yeah subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so i shall see you next time take care bye